Whenever we ask Copilot a question or give it a task, it evaluates whether it can answer the question from its training data. If it can, it formulates an answer and writes a response for us. If not, it does an internet search using the search engine Bing. It reads the results and formulates an answer from the information on these sites. Let me show you. So here we have Copilot again and again. I prefer to be in the creative to get the muscles of the latest GPT model. First of all, let's try to write what is the integral of sin x. This is uh, some uh, something that is deeply nested in its training data. So here Copilot can answer based on that and not provide links or do a search, it will pro provide learn more links probably uh, uh, below. Sometimes it doesn't, but uh, right now it did. But it's not having any links up here in the prompt. We can also choose to force Copilot to go online. Let's do, a, let's open up a tab, go to en dot. And here you want to, to go to wiki wikipedia.org and hit enter. Now we're going to search. It's not, we just do an example search. So search for graphic, graphics processing unit like this and hit enter. So right now, let me scroll down. This is a very long article and we could not uh, have Copilot, if I just copied all of this, Copilot will could not do it because right now the context limit is 4,000 characters. But what we can do instead is to grab the UL, go back to Copilot, say new topic, and here I just say, summarize the article in three bullets, colon, control V to paste in the article, hit it. Now Copilot will use uh, Bing to go online. And now uh, here you can see is a summary of the Wikipedia article and graphicing, graphic processing units in three bullet points. It even here you can see it provides links and that's because it uses uh, Wikipedia. So when I click here, we're back to the article, which was expected. We can also guide Copilot to use a, a relevant site. So if I say new topic and here you can say find three recent posts from reddit.com about chat GPT. Make a summary of each one, hit enter. Now Copilot will be forced to use um, Bing again to go online. And we haven't provided a link, but just say, where do we want to look at? Um, so we have a post here about from January 9, the user discusses the latest update to ChatGPT, nothing improvement, model performance, and then two more posts will follow. Uh, finally, we can use the entire internet. So let's do that. Let's just uh, finish this one here. So when finished, I can click new topic. And here I want to say, what is the best programming language to learn if I want to build a website from scratch in 2024. Now the entire web will be searched with Bing and that's because when it's time sensitive prompts we give Copilot, then it uses Bing to make sure that the information is updated because the training data is not uh, updated all the time. So now you will see that we get some links to it. So now it says JavaScript. And that was from uh, global, global Media Insight, probably all of them. And if I click here, you will see that uh, 22 best programming languages for web development. That's it. Your next lesson is right up here. Go click it.